So the Scarab Gun in Halo 2 is one of the most famous easter eggs in all of video games, and so is the giant soccer ball on the same mission Metropolis. But I searched the entire internet to find one single person that had ever gotten the Scarab Gun using just a soccer ball, and I couldn't. So can we do it? Let's give it a shot! I'm gonna take these rockets. I think that I might need these at some point. So first step in this was very simple. We had to launch to the soccer ball, which takes a little bit of finagling to get to, but is overall not very difficult. Perfect aim, you know? Okay, here we are, Mr. Soccer Ball. All right, so what I'm thinking here, gentlemen, is I'm just going to, like, line it up against, like, this. Stack some grenades under it with another player using the Pinata Skull. The Pinata Skull in Halo 2 enables you to beat plasma grenades out of your teammate every single time that you melee him. You can then stack as many of these plasma grenades as you want into a nice, neat pile and then light it like it's a stick of TNT using another plasma grenade as the spark. But because Halo 2's physics are so weird, there is some risk to this. If you are not looking directly at grenades or within proximity of them in Halo 2, they will straight up disappear. So you notice in these setups, I have someone looking at the grenades the entire time. Okay, I need to be very careful here because if I look away from the grenades, they will disappear. Okay, I think I have enough plasma grenades stacked up for this. My plan is just stack a pile of grenades underneath the soccer ball and get it to blast me up to the scarab gun. Okay, I think this is going to be my pile. I just need to get other grenades away from it. I think um, that might just get it done. Holy sh... Look at that. <laughs> I have player two constantly staring at this pile of grenades so it doesn't despawn. And the soccer ball... I'm going to move it slightly forward. So I'm going to stare at this pile of grenades and I'm going to have player two go through and get a checkpoint. Mother c It had been a while since I had played this mission, and at this point, I had forgot that progressing through the stairs by the scarab loads you into that section of the mission. Which means, all your grenades disappear, and you get to set this entire thing up again. Okay, first attempt, not very good. Okay, that is promising. Maybe I need to stack a bunch of frags. Look at how sick I am at this game. So after about half an hour, I hadn't even had one good attempt. Throwing a grenade under the soccer ball while there's also a stack of grenades under the soccer ball, the timing was all messed up. Okay, I have a different idea. Okay, yeah, player two, pick up these rockets, and then I need to jump on top of the soccer ball, and hopefully the rocket blast will take me all the way there. And it was not even close. This method also didn't work. I wasn't getting anywhere close, so I decided to bite the bullet and restart the mission so that I could have a fresh setup. Okay, wait. I have one final idea before I give up on this. So, my plan was to use the same method that we used before stacking the grenades, but not actually stacking all of the grenades. It can be messy, I'm just gonna throw it, see what happens. Before, I was throwing a frag grenade or a plasma grenade at a very tight pack of plasma grenades. This time, 
I wanted to use the explosions from both frags and plasma grenades to see if I could have a multiplying effect. And quite frankly, I just didn't want to take the time to stack all of them into a nice neat pile again. I want to get to the point where I'm basically almost dying every single time that I do this. I don't want to be short on nades at all. I'd rather be really over than, than short at all. Because if you're short at all, you have no chance to make it. But I think this is probably good, honestly. Okay, I figured it out. I I'm not just going to use a soccer ball to get up there. I'm going to use two blasts. Watch this. Guarantee I can do it this try. Never mind. Dude, look at all my bodies, dude. That is hilarious. Getting closer. Soccer ball is getting close. Well, I didn't mean to restart it, but I guess I can get in slightly better position this time or give up completely. I'll probably just give up. So after four hours and the fourth separate year of trying to do this, I call the quits. This wasn't possible, but then I got desperate. I didn't have a video lined up for this week. I had to hit something, anything, and I wasn't gonna let the stupid fucking soccer ball ruin my week. The Schilt Show must go on. So two months later, I strapped in. I wasn't going to stop recording until I completed this. I'm at the soccer ball. Now I need to go get this set up. That's actually insane. <laughs> oh. Stronger. I'm better, stronger, faster, faster, faster. Too strong. Ugh. There we go. Okay, I've got it. I think pretty much in place. I got a decent lineup. I can set up player two right here to just shoot his rocket like that. Bam. I'm going to use this Marine to keep this soccer ball in place. Okay, I'm just going to let it kind of balance out, balance out. Okay, first try. I have two controllers at the same time. Well, two mouse and keyboards at the same time. Check it out. I got a mouse. Oh, I got a keyboard right there. Keyboard right there. Another mouse, mouse, keyboard, mouse, keyboard. I gotta use all of those for this launch. Okay, I gotta line this up and I gotta shoot two rockets at the same time. Wow. I think I can do it.
Oh, I, I don't even think I need a second player for this. Huh. Just not going the right angle. Hmm. That seemed to have worked better. Ooh. Come on. No. Damn. Not even close. I can get this frag grenade stuck in this soccer ball and then shoot it and it should launch me high enough to potentially get up here. Okay, so I just figured out that if you kneel and you throw the grenade while you're on top of it in a flat surface, it will go right through the soccer ball. Come on, come on. Oh, it's going to be weird. I'm going to have to navigate. Oh. Okay, so essentially what's happening here that I just figured out is if you throw the grenade in the soccer ball, the blast is actually protected because it's inside of the soccer ball. So I'm only getting affected by the rocket blast and not the frag and rocket. The frag and rocket at the same time, watch. Come on. Oh, ah, getting there. Maybe I need to jump. Seem to get a little closer with the jumping. Come on. Ah. Oh, I could have. Oh, that I could have used it for a second bounce. I'm getting close, but I'm just don't have enough muscle for this. I can't hit it. It's, it's like moving too fast. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get on it twice. I'm going to use the grenade to launch it up in the air so I don't take damage and the rocket for aiming purposes. The problem is the soccer ball is moving really fast, so I have to aim high above it to hit it. I missed at that distance. Okay, maybe I can reload and hit again. Fuck. Okay, come on. No! Come on, get closer. Get closer. Bang! Ugh. Come on, don't... Oh, I'm going... Oh, it's going faster than me! Oh, this might be good. Come on, keep me going. No! Oh? No! Oh, I'm so close. There's always one guy in the comments that says, do a single player trick. You never do any single player tricks. I can't do any of these myself. Well, here's your single player trick guy. Pretty much all you need is a soccer ball and a checkpoint and a rocket and an A. Oh no, it's shooting through, come on. Here's a good one. Ah. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh. No.
Okay, maybe if I just get it somewhere slightly higher, I could actually get this. I need extra overshield, so I'm pounding this uh, truck until it dies. Because objects that are destroyable in Halo 2 can give you overshields if you have the Black Eye Skull. But you have to beat them down. Sometimes it takes a while. I am like 20 feet higher. Should I go even higher? I mean, the soccer ball looks to be in a pretty decent spot, but it is directly underneath, it looks like. And it looks like there's some overhang here, too. So I'm just going to get it up higher. Well, soccer ball went in the water. So, great. Restart the mission, because my last checkpoint... So what I meant to say here was, my last checkpoint came in a really inconvenient time where the soccer ball had already fallen into the water out of the map. So there was no possible way that I was going to be able to utilize the soccer ball without restarting the mission. Which meant, I had to restart the mission for like the 10th time and set this all up again. So at this point, my plan was to set up the soccer ball in a location that was higher than I previously had it. I figured if I was coming up short every single time, let's move it hey. higher. Oh my gosh, that only took an hour Still not getting it though. Is this a good one? <gasps> oh, please, please go over, please go over. Please go over, please go over. Yes! Finally! Woo! <gasps> I have been working on that for so long. There it is. Dear old friend, we meet again. Amir, you sweet little baby. Does it work? 